Welcome to Breathe English and our video Cooking in English Part 2. Let's go make some chicken. Now we're going to sear the meat. Pans are getting really hot here. Getting steamy in here. We start by adding salt and pepper to the meat. And this is called seasoning the meat. And then we're going to oil the pan. And then we sear the meat. Another idiom, a flash in the pan. We have our pan. And sometimes when people cook, you see a big flash of fire, which is really fast. But when we use the idiom, a flash in the pan, it means something is really popular, but for a short amount of time. So it's like a flash of popularity, everyone's talking about it, or talking about the person, and then it's over, it's finished. So a flash in the pan, and then it's not popular anymore. So we seared the chicken and Teresa removed it from the pan. The liquid that um, the chicken, when the chicken cooks, it makes a liquid. Um, there's a lot of different ways to extract this liquid. This one came from the pan drippings. So I made a whole roast. And when you're done, the bottom of the roast, the pan is full of this liquid and it is really delicious. I'm straining the pan drippings. And once you strain your pan drippings, you get something that is just like a broth or a stock. So we're going to use the microwave and we put something on the turntable and we close the door and we microwave it for a minute. And in America, a lot of people call it nuking something in the microwave. Now we're going to go ahead and um, make the liquid that the chicken is going to cook into. And for this we're going to use this, the liquid from the chicken, which we're using pan drippings. You could use broth or stock. We just made this lemon juice. We're going to use most of this lemon juice in here. We're going to save some of it for the other part. And then we're also going to add some white wine. We're going to use our spatula to scrape the bottom of the pan. The oil and the chicken together stick to the bottom of the pan. And that's delicious. You want that stuff in your sauce. And this is called skimming. So this removes the fats and impurities off the top of your sauce. And now we're going to use our tongs to put the chicken back into the skillet so that it can cook in the sauce. Mm -hmm. The handle is hot, so I'm going to use an oven mitt. And I'm going to ladle the sauce over the chicken. And so we had peeled the lemon and made these little peelings of lemon zest. We're going to add those into the sauce while it's cooking. And when we're done with the stove top, well, then we're going to bake it in the oven. And then we set a timer. We're going to cook some grains. Grains are the starchy things that go into our food, like rice is a grain. But today we're gonna to use some different grains. We're going to use farro, bulgur wheat, quinoa, and barley. This is a measuring cup. So we're going to use hot water or broth and add our grains. We put it in a pot on the stove top and we start on high. We're going to bring it to a boil 
And as soon as it boils, then we're going to reduce it to a simmer so it doesn't boil over. We salt our water. Couple of idioms to do with boiling. If you have a situation that boils over, it becomes really intense, really stressful, climactic, probably it's some kind of problem. So an argument can boil over, an issue can boil over, and then the opposite is to simmer. So a situation can simmer down, so become more calm, which Teresa is doing with the water. So it got really hot, it was before it boiled over, she turned down the heat. So she's simmering the temperature down. So same thing with a situation um, or a person. So you can also simmer down. If you're up here, your level's up here, maybe you're angry or excited or anxious, and then you calm down, you simmer down. Just like our water simmers. Ooh, it's boiling now. Some of the grains are still just a little bit tough. Not tender yet. Combining. So this is called plating. Lay out our plates and we are going to serve four people. Plated dish. He's serving the chicken on a bed of salad. And in the end, we're going to sprinkle with some finishing salt and add the garnishes. It's a little bit of some of the ingredients that you used just to put at the end to make it look pretty. All right, and since English steals from other languages, when we're ready to eat, we say bon appetit, which is French, but it also is English, and it just means enjoy your meal. And we have some wine to go with it. We make a toast to making a cooking video together. Erica, thank you for coming over. Thank you so much for cooking. I didn't help very much. Maybe I'll help clean up. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you learned some English in the kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video and you're new here, please click subscribe and the like button. Thank you so much for joining. And we're gonna have some chicken now. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.